I guess, Dom, could you describe the home run and then describe the, the catch you made, the diving catch you made out there in the, the seventh or whenever that was, I think? Yeah, uh, I think it was a one-two count. Uh, I think he threw four breaking balls in a row. Kind of had a feeling he was coming back with a fastball, just a fastball on the outside part of the plate, and uh, put a good swing on it. And then uh, the catch, it was in the gap, you know, I just – was going after it hard. wasn't sure if I was going to get it. Kind of died a little bit, and uh, I was lucky enough to get under it and get the catch. Dave was saying you were frustrated because you know that the, the pitch before you'd almost hit it out to right. Um, and but, I mean, have you ever had a bat bat like that where you almost hit a home run to right and then you do hit a home run to left? I, mean, uh, I haven't. Uh, I haven't had too many home runs to left field in my career, so I think that was my first one here. So uh, after I hit his. Breaking ball pretty well. I knew he'd probably come back with a fastball. Is that about as good as you hit him? It sounded like, and Dave said it was on the sweet spot, you know, the home run. Yeah, that's probably as good as I can hit a ball to the left side of the field. You know, they had you guys down. That was a really long, you know, top of the third. Just how big was it when you hit that home run to go ahead? Me for all you guys, just what was the feeling of the dugout when that happened? In the okay. What was what was the feeling of the bullpen or whatever? <laughs> well, I mean, what, what were you guys feeling? Because it's not looking good, and and then you guys come back. I mean, what was well, like having a comeback win like yeah, that? Yeah. Well, the feeling in the bullpen at first was not to let the ball hit me in the head, uh, and then after that, I mean, we were we were super excited, and obviously, I was like, all right, well, uh, you know, figure that Bear and I are probably going to piece this one together. So uh, just kind of getting ready for all that, and uh, you know, I mean, we were we were just excited and uh, ready to go win a ball game. I guess Drake and Bear are both just kind of with knowing Cronin was out, just kind of what was the feeling like going into the weekend and knowing you all would probably have to double up a lot? I mean, pretty ex – I mean, not exciting that, that Matt wasn't going to play, but, I mean, you know, for me and Jake, you know, exciting to be able to get get the opportunities that maybe we wouldn't without Matt. But um, whenever Matt comes back, it will obviously be still exciting. And, you know, Matt will, Matt will assume his role that he left and, and uh, you know, Matt can't throw all three games on the weekend, so it's good for me and uh, me and Jake to get some work in and and some roles that well, I guess Jake Jake had been in that role previously, but I hadn't. So I mean, it was a good opportunity and, and a good team win. Well, what, what, yeah, what did you feel about it's that? Pretty good, that yeah. isn't he? Uh, yeah, pitched pretty well at the end of the game. I like that. Uh, you know, for having Cronin out, obviously it sucks. Um, but we were like, well, you know, what can you really do? We got to you still have to play the games. You can't just say, all right, hey, well, you know, our closer's out. We're going to we're going to just take this weekend off. Um, so for me and Bear, it's just like, all right, we got to step up and, and go in the end of the game and finish it out. Bear, you threw uh, like eight, almost nine innings in three games in six days. How does your arm feel? And what, what was the key to, you know, doing so well, you know, in three games like that? That didn't happen a lot. Yeah, uh, my arm feels good. Um, obviously, a little fatigued to throw that much, but um, I felt good and I don't know. Did a lot of yoga. <laughs> about it. Seriously, do yoga? Yeah. Is that, is that yeah, a little bit of yoga and working out and <laughs> keep the body in shape. And I don't mean, that just, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I guess I can accredit it to, to keeping my body in shape and eating the right things. Um, but I mean, once you get out on the mound, um, it just the adrenaline gets flowing, and and that's the last thing you're worried about is is your arm. Uh, what kept you going? Because obviously at the start of the year things weren't going too well for you. Much turning <coughs> around, and kind of what faith did you have to keep going on it? Today? Well, I mean, just you know, what when things were struggling early, what kind of kept you going and and um, uh, turned things around for you? Yeah, um, I mean, things weren't going well for for the pitching staff early on. Um, which is tough. I mean, it's tough for everyone. Uh, it kind of brings brings down the team morale. Um, but I mean, with a, a lineup like like a, like ours and um, defense like ours, I mean, I think we had the confidence to come back into the game. And and Jake and I were ready to to come in whether we were down or we were up. And we knew that the offense would turn it around. And uh, I mean, that's I mean, we have confidence in our teammates. And I think that's where you know, even though we were down, um, we trust each other to to come back. What, what do you think about the impact you made against you know Tech and then you know back to back days uh, this week to help your team? Um, I mean, my performance. Um, I'm happy about it, but it also. I mean, there was a lot of other factors that went into 
to the team's success than, than just my pitching performance. I mean, you look at it, uh, the first inning I threw today, a guy hits a hard line drive right at Jack, and Jack makes a good play to knock it down and throw it to first. So, I mean, if that ball gets down the line, uh, who knows? Who knows? We're probably not sitting here, you know? Um, and then you look at whenever Jake first came out, um, obviously both of us are fatigued and, and still competing out there, but you, when, when you have to a throw in situations that, that are tasking on your body, other guys pick you up, and a guy had a hard line drive in the left center, and Dom made a great catch. And, um, I mean... You, you can look at it as our performances were great, but I mean, it was more about the team and, and the other guys picking us up than, I mean, we just went out there and threw strikes. That's, that's really all that the coaches ask us to do. And when we do that, the defense picks us up and the offense picks us up. And Grant, uh, that last inning too, Grant made a great play throwing the guy out at second. So, I mean, there's so many, so many factors that went into it rather than just, you know, two scoreless innings or, or whatever the stat line says. But what do you think was the key for you personally to be pitching so well now when maybe you weren't earlier in the year? Um, I mean, it's it's a long process uh, physically and uh, mentally. Um, and I think as the team builds confidence, sometimes you can build confidence off of other players on the team. And seeing Jake have success and seeing Matt have success late in the late in late innings out of the bullpen, um, I just tried to emulate them. Um, and try to emulate the success of Blaine and of Casey and, and other guys. Um, I mean, we, we all have success in the fall, and so I know I could do it. It was just um, just figuring it out. Did you ever lose confidence? or? Um, I wouldn't really say I lost confidence. I mean, sometimes just things don't go your way, and I think that was it was just more of things not going my way and finally got settled in, and um, and we've been winning games. So. Hey, Jake, when, when Dom makes the kind of plays he makes out there, what's that like for a pitcher? Oh. It's exciting because you know you made a bad pitch and it got hammered and you weren't penalized for it, right? So shot him one of these and gave him a little I love you behind the back. And uh, yeah, I was pumped. But what does that do for you guys, though? Like, really? I mean, it keeps the momentum on our side, obviously. So, like, whereas that would have been a massive knock and a, and a you know, game-changing hit, it's an out. And I get the ball back and I get to go back and do it again. So... That's, that's basically it. Tom, when you're trying to size those things out and figure out which angle you need to, I mean, how quickly are you making a decision and just, you know, the ability you have to make those kind of plays out there? Uh, really, it's like a kind of last second decision of whether I'm going to try and dive and catch it or not. And you got to take into play what happens if you dive and miss it and stuff like that. So you kind of got to know that if you're laying out like that, you got to catch it. So it's kind of a split second decision and just go after it. Hey, Jake, you obviously were struggling early and you, you really had it going <coughs> the last couple of weeks. Well, what, what was the key to you, Turner? I know talking to Wes, said you guys did a lot of work in the bullpen and, and you got to figure it out, you know? Yeah, you guys, uh, you guys like to ask this one. Uh, it was just a small mechanical tweak with, uh, you know, my front arm throwing the breaking ball. That's pretty much it. And then after that, I built confidence in that pitch, and I already had confidence in my other pitches. So I felt like once I could land all those, I had a lot more confidence in myself. And then just taking all that there out there on the mound and uh, just kind of throwing with those has uh, has been pretty good for me. When y'all came in after the, the you know the bad top of the third, what was the mindset? Anybody say anything or not really? Uh, we just know we have confidence in our lineup and. Uh, we're the best lineup in the country, and we can go out there and put up however many runs it takes for us to get a W, and uh, that's what we did. Uh, Jake and Baird, do you guys know, um, you, I guess when you had that walk, um, that, that set the school record for 15. Um, Sweet. At that point, it really doesn't matter we won, so yeah. might as well set some records. Yeah. But that's and, good. And, and you know, Dave's saying, Cronin, he could be out a while. How, 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 good, how good do you guys feel moving forward in these roles, kind of the dual – Late inning guys and Dom, how, how much confidence do the rest of the guys have in these guys? Um, obviously, after this weekend, we have a ton of confidence in them. Uh, we know they can go out there, pound strikes, let our defense work, and just get outs and close a ball game out. So we're pretty confident in them and uh, and the rest of our team. And how, how do you guys feel, kind of moving forward, if Matt can't come back? You know? I mean, obviously, we want Matt back because uh, he's probably the best at what he does. Um, but I have a lot of confidence in Barrett. I feel like the team has confidence in me as well to, to go out and close the game uh, if need be. 
Yeah, I, I feel the same way. We're looking forward to having Matt back, and hopefully he can be back next weekend or whenever it is. But until then, I mean, we have a lot of players that step up, and, and the offense will obviously be great, and defense will be great. So we can lean on, you know, an entire an entire team that's really deep. And so I think we're prepared for we're prepared for anything. So. Uh, I'll get to get a sweep. After, do you feel like you guys kind of set things right? You got swept, then you get a sweep, kind of even things out in the standings. You guys are still up. Yeah, obviously uh, we kind of take games one game at a time and go out there and try to win today, win each pitch, win each inning, everything like that. So uh, standings-wise, obviously it was really big for us, and uh, we look forward to next weekend. Last question. Hey, Dom, for you and Jake, just seeing what Barrett did, I know he talked about everything else, but – to come out and do what he did against Tech and then the, you know, the final two games of the series. How big was that, uh, just seeing what he was able to do out on that? Obviously, it was huge. Uh, Tech has one of the best lineups in the country, and he came in and just pretty much mowed them down, struck out 9, 10, whatever it was, and uh, really gave us a lot of confidence in him. And uh, we're just happy that we have him now that Matt's out and confidence in him for him to come in and close games out like that. Yeah, uh, y'all haven't seen it, but this is the Barrett we've known in the fall and you know early spring scrimmages for the last three years. Like, this is not something new that he's just doing. He figured it out, and now he's showing us obviously what he's been capable of doing. He didn't do anything you know crazy, magical, whatever. This is just who he is. So um, I'm really excited to have him. I was trying to get stuff for extra stories this week. So I'm